Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell and today I have something a little bit different here. Uh, I'm going to be showing you the nominations for the Toy of the Year Awards, with specifically the Game of the Year Awards from the Toy of the Year Awards department. There's lots of different Toy of the Year Awards. This is from the Toy Industry Association and the voting went up yesterday. Um, so you can go and vote on these. You just go to toyawards.org and you can vote on these. Now, uh, I was sent a copy of each of the games that was in the awards. Some of them I've already reviewed. All of them I will review at some point or the other. Most of them are board games, but some kind of skirt that boundary. I'm not supposed to tell you which one to vote for, so I won't. Um, but I will tell you a little bit about each of them and some thoughts on them, and maybe you want to check some of them out. And like I said, if I haven't done a review on them, I will get it done. So the first we have here is Yeti and My Spaghetti. This is kind of... um almost like a mix of pickup sticks and Jenga. You have a bunch of spaghetti noodles on top of the thing and you're pulling them out. Try not to make the Yeti fall in the spaghetti. That's the name of the game. A dexterity game, best mostly for young kids. Now this one's a very intriguing one here. This one's Bloxels. This is not really a board game at all. And, and this one, it, it comes with a tray. And nowadays it's all the rage to build you know, figures and so this one, you can put these cubes in the, in the tray and build figures. Okay, so lots of people do that stuff now. But then what this does is you can take a picture of this with your phone and make a figure that can play in video games. Or you can even make a video game level with this. So each block, like uh, a yellow block might stand for a treasure chest, or a red block might stand for fire, a green block might stand for a monster. Each block means something different, and then you take a picture with your phone and you make a 2D scrolling video game. So it's kind of mixing physicality with video games. So that's Bloxels, and creative people will like that one. Maze Racers, which I've done a review on, uh, is basically for two players, and each player is going to be making a maze uh, on the back. So they have a, a time thing, and they're both making a maze, and it's magnetic pieces, and you build this maze that a marble can go through. You then switch mazes with the other person, and then at the same time, you make your marble go through the maze as fast as you can. Very uh, cool and educational. I mean, it teaches you to think, and again, it's another creative game. A lot of creativity here. Circuit Maze. Now, Think Fun is known for making things like um, a traffic jam with the cars, you're trying to get out of it, and they make a lot of these puzzles. Well, this one here, you need to make it so that you create a circuit that lights up the different things. Not only does this teach you a little bit about circuits and closed circuits and switches and things like that, but it's actually a pretty tough puzzle. Uh, this is, I think, even the easier ones in here are not as simple as some of the other games. There's, there's some pretty tough things in this one. So that's uh, Circuit Maze. Emotep, which was uh, nominated for another award, uh, the Spiel Game of the Year Award in Germany. This one here is about building pyramids and towers and things in Egypt. And you are either adding cubes to boats or sailing a boat and taking actions with those boats. There's, this is a really fantastic uh, family game. You certainly want to check out my video for more information on that one. Speak Out. Now this one here is kind of unusual. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of a silly game. You see this device here? Yeah, you know that really annoying device where it gets stuck in your mouth. Um, so that I had a doctor so that he can get in there and uh, kind of you know, uh, fix your teeth without, you know. So anyway, in this game, you have some things to say. So, hey, I uh, had uh, quirky questions become confusing. And I have to say that with this thing in my mouth. And so I say, quirky questions become confusing. And then my team has to say, oh, we understand you. Time to take out your mouth, it looks disgusting. Okay, I go. Obviously, you'll want to watch these between games. So that's Speak Out. Then we have Escape Room the Game. Now in this, there are four different escape rooms. There is Prison Break, Virus, Nuclear Countdown, and Temple of the Aztec. Now I'm gonna be reviewing this one for full at some point. Uh, I've, I played through Prison Break and Virus. I haven't played through the last two yet. But this is a cooperative thing where you're working together trying to get out of an escape room. It comes with a device that you stick keys in. It's pretty neat how the whole thing works together. I've really enjoyed the first two. Uh, the next two are harder, so I'm looking forward to seeing how much more difficult they can get. And then finally, we have Simon Air. Remember Simon? Simon's been around for a really long time. Simon Air, though, has you know field-sensitive things where when you stick it through, so 
It's just like Simon, so. Blue, green. Level one completed. But see, now it's gonna change a little bit, watch. Well, maybe I should actually get it right. A little bit hard to do when you're... All right, but when it's sitting on the table, I can do that. And then it also has things where you need to put your hand and go curve down, where it will slide from one to the other. But it can even get more tricky when you're playing the two-player version. The two-player version, you're working with somebody else. How do you hit all four with one person? You can't. You have to work together with someone else so that you can hit all four at the same time. So that's basically how this one works. Let me turn this one off here. Um, that's Simon Air. So those are the different toys slash games that are available. Um, they're really quite different. One is about, you know, one's a puzzle. One is a cooperative puzzle. Well, so is the Simon one. One's a dexterity game. One is a thinking maze game. The Imhotep is like a family game to play with your family. Speak out as a party game. One is making video games. So they're really quite different, but you have a chance to go vote on these. So go check out the website. Um, like I said, over the next weeks, any of these that I have not reviewed already, I've already reviewed Imhotep, Maze Racers, and Yeti and My Spaghetti. Um, but Escape the Room, Speak Out, the Circuit Maze, and the Simon, and the video game one, I'll be reviewing all those over the next month. So either way, it's kind of cool that you get to vote on these. Tell me what, if you've played any of these, let me know what you think in the comments. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.